do not let go of my hand, okay? And don't open your eyes. No peeking allowed. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to bring you somewhere shady. I promise. All right, stop here. I just need to open a door. I didn't think you would be so worried. Trust me, all right? Okay, let's go. Just a few steps forward. Yes, perfect. Just like that. And now, on count of three, you can open your eyes. Are you ready? Hmm? A smell. <laughs> it's unusual, isn't it? I'm sure you'll love where it's coming from. The sounds. I think you've heard this before, but you probably have never seen the real creature that makes them. All right, counting. One, two, three. Ta-da! So, <laughs> what do you think? See, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> it is the forest I told you about. Beautiful, isn't it? It's my happy place. Oh yes, these are all real trees and plants and grass, but the sky is fake. See, um, these are massive screens. They change with the time on Mars, the weather, etc. And we're lucky today, it's sunny. Indeed, this was a humongous project. Took Mars a few decades to build. And it was not cheap. A few big corporations helped with the financing of the place, as well as wealthy patrons. I myself donated a bit of money when they started a fundraiser. Oh no, uh, just the flora is rare. The birds you hear and the insects, they're all recordings from Earth. Well, um, the whole project was designed by a group of scientists. Some of them went back on Earth to bring the trees and others search for sounds of a forest. How did they record the sounds? Hmm. Well, that's tricky, isn't it? When there are normal animals or insects to produce these different noises on Earth. They actually had to dig up recordings from databases. Well, uh, from the end of the 20th century, humans started to record pretty much everything, uh, from pictures of their meals to videos of them dancing, shopping, even whispering. And amongst those, scientists have found recordings of nature. And so they brought them here and added some sounds to this place to make it more real. As for the trees, uh, they had to bring some of the flora that was left on Earth. So they dug the soil, transported the trees on special ships, and planted them here. It took them quite a while to figure out how to create the best soil possible. The one on Earth is, unfortunately, not nutritious enough anymore, and so with trial and error, 
they manage to find the right combination of dirt and other nutrients for the plants. What do they add to the soil? Well, um, I'm sure you can guess. If I'm not mistaken, most space stations do this as well. I'm pretty sure yours is no exception. Exactly. They use us. Nothing can go to waste when you live in a place like Mars or a metal box floating in outer space. So when we die, we are pretty much recycled. And what's left from us seems to do wonders for the forest here. There's something beautiful in knowing that when you pass, you'll still be part of something. You still be useful, don't you think? In a way, yes. If you do believe in reincarnation, then you can think that you'll become one of these trees or plants or grass. Anyhow, everything was able to grow and prosper and still is, but there's one problem that the scientists can't quite figure out yet. Exactly. Nothing here can reproduce. It's all sterile. So when all of this will die, there won't be anything left. Plus, it would be such an achievement for scientists to be able to grow things on Mars rather than clone everything or import from faraway planets. So, they're actively working on this issue. Hmm? Oh, right. So, because the scientists are so busy and taking care of this place 24-7 is quite the chore, they developed an AI to run everything here. Soil analysis, weather control, plant health, etc. The AI was named Gaia and it takes care of the whole forest. Pretty neat, right? <laughs> I do know a lot about this place. Is it weird? <laughs> well, as I said, it is my happy place. I don't remember how many times I've come here in the past. You know, this place feels like home, even more so than my apartment. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Well, I guess I find peace here. It's always quiet because the AI regulates the number of people that can come and go here, so it's never crowded. With the smells, the sounds, it's so relaxing. It's like going back on Earth again, or so I think. Not that I do remember much about Earth and I've never been in a forest there. Yeah, it's, it's a feeling I can't really describe. And so I wanted to show you this place because it's so special to me and you too. <laughs> special, yes. Haven't you figured that out yet? <laughs> oh no, you're not trespassing. Not at all. Besides, I'm the one that brought you here, so... 
Well, I guess it's just me being cheesy and wanting to show you my affection and appreciation. So, what do you think of this place? Um, would you like to come back here with me anytime soon? Maybe next time we could just lay on the grass, watch the fake sky and hope the eye won't start the rain. <laughs> Or just sit on a bench and listen to the birds and the wind in the leaves. What do you say? <laughs>